Hey, good morning my friends. Dan here and I do have a topic to discuss with you this morning as it relates to storage auctions. Uh, very, very interesting, very important topic. I went to uh, an auction last month in the Bronx and uh, it was an unusually hot day. Um, you know, I figured this time of year temperature would start cooling off a little bit and I wound up buying two units. Needless to say, clearing out a storage unit is a lot of physical work. And when you're doing that kind of a work, kind of work on, on such a hot day, you know, of course you're going to be getting uh, sweaty and thirsty. And the... so I walk into the uh, I walk into the office of the storage facility. There they have a beverage machine. Uh, it's selling soda and water. So I didn't have any change on me. I take my dollar bill to uh, the counter and I request change. And I ask the girl behind the counter, you know, how much is a how much is a soda? How you know? What am I feeding into this machine to get a drink? She says, um, "It's a dollar for a can of soda. It's a dollar twenty-five for a bottle of water." I, I I didn't understand this. How could how could a bottle of water be more expensive than a can of soda? I mean, basically, isn't soda water that's been carbonated? And then they add this syrup, which is made up of sugar and flavorings and chemicals and the whole thing. How could all of that be less expensive than just a bottle of plain water. You know, I didn't get it. I just, I couldn't, I didn't understand. So if anybody out there can tell me why a bottle of plain water would be more expensive than a bastardized can of soda, please, please let me know because this is a real mystery to me. But I digress. This is not the reason why I'm doing this video, to rant about a bottle of soda versus, a, you know, a bottle of water versus a can of soda. So here's the deal. At this auction last month, I bought a unit for $175, and this unit was filled with stuff, okay? No fooling, 75% of that stuff I pulled out of that storage unit was trash. It went into boxes, it went into bags, I put it out on the curb, the trash man hauled it away on Monday morning. Um, it, it, it was it was worthless, use, useless trash. There were hundreds of old magazines, and I'm talking about celebrity gossip magazines, um, you know, digital PC information age magazines. I mean, magazines that literally had zero value. There were old um, newspapers. There were old calendars. I cannot tell you how many old calendars I found. I mean, it was just stuff that had zero value, zero monetary value, and could not have possibly had so much sentimental value to the former tenant. There's just, I just don't see how it's possible. So 75% of the stuff that I pulled out of that storage unit instantly went right into the garbage. Now, luckily for me, I still found enough really nice valuable items that I'm probably going to be able to maybe quadruple or at least uh, triple the money that I paid on that unit. So, you know, it was still a good unit. But here's the sad fact. Here's what I wanted to talk to you about this morning. This person took whatever valuable items that they had and put them in storage with mostly worthless, crappy items. And my inclination is that the person became unable uh, to pay their rent because they maybe realized that they were paying a whole lot of money to store stuff that really didn't, you know, wasn't worth the expense, wasn't worth the money, and they therefore le lost their valuable items because they had it cooped up in storage with a lot of worthless shit. When what that person could have done was to declutter their lives. That person, before making the decision to stick all their stuff in storage, should have right then and there minimized, decluttered their lives, threw away the shit that was obviously worthless, and I'm guessing that the 25% of the stuff that was left over that had value could probably have found some space somewhere in their house or apartment for that small quantity of stuff. So instead of storing all this stuff, most of which had no value, they could have thrown all that stuff out that had no value and either paid a hell of a lot less for storage for the valuable stuff or even maybe found a little bit of space somewhere in their house to keep that, you know, that stuff that had value. So that is my message for you this morning. You can avoid the same type of thing from happening to you, losing all of your stuff 
to a storage auction if you would just learn how to minimize, declutter, get the worthless crap out of your life. Then when it comes to your valuable, valuable items, make a decision. If you still have to store them, you'll be paying a heck of a lot less to store those valuable items. Or once you declutter, get rid of the garbage out of your life, chances are pretty good that you might just find enough space around your house that you'll be able to keep those items and not have to space, pay storage at all. So that is my message to you this morning. I got so frustrated going, going through box after box after box, bin after bin, finding nothing but useless crap, and I was incredulous that this person lost the valuable things they did have because they were storing it with a lot of useless shit. And I would hate to see that happen to you. So that's my message. Declutter. Get the crap out of your life. And you can help yourself to avoid the same kind of situation. Okay. So that's it. Again, my name is Dan. I ask that if you're not currently a subscriber to my channel, please do. I would really appreciate it if I've given you some helpful advice in this video. Certainly click the like button below. If you would like to offer me some feedback or commentary on what I've just said, I invite you to leave your comments below. Talk to me. I promise you I will talk back. And that's it. My name is Dan. I have some more auctions on the schedule coming up over the next couple of weeks. I will be in touch. I'll take you with me on those treasure hunts. And until then, until next time, signing off.